It is a sad time in this universe. A lot of scientists, the best scientists, is being accused. Some scientists have found the Milky Way, the sun, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> that was very bad. <laughs> what is happening right now? Amen. <laughs> Amen. talking about amen amen the man the man that has changed science as a whole so this is happening everywhere the me too thanks to the me too movement which i support women should be stepping up what i don't like is the the fact that even the leader of the me too group you guys probably didn't know this she was going out with a minor and yeah. she paid him so he didn't say anything he was a, he's a star too she harassed him and he finally came out but have you guys seen that in the news? I have, yeah. Has that been promoted? No, well, not on the news, As but a online. guy? Online. Yeah, yeah. You have to dig deep to, to actually find that. It's funny, so it's like, so, the one that created the Me Too movement is saying Me Too. She probably, yeah. And then the guy she harassed is saying Me, Me three. Too. <laughs> Me Three. <laughs> you understand, I, I, I'll support funny, a buddy. group, I'll support a group as long as this, this whole, this balance, as long as, you know, everybody that has been affected benefits from it. Not just you trying to take down one tyrant. Especially now when the person that creates it is one of the problems also. Yeah, especially like that. That is super ignorant. So very... It's like, it's like, like sorry, sorry for using this man. I hate this man. But it's like if Hitler was alive today, and he opens a donation for the homeless. Oh, start donate! Come on, bro. I mean, she's not that bad, but it's still bad. It seems bad. It's bad for for your movement, which a lot of people should support. And a lot of females that have been affected should step forward. Even males who have been affected should step forward. It should not be um should not be seen. Only girls are being affected. Guys are being affected too every day. Yeah, I, I was gonna say that not to get into the whole gender thing, but. It doesn't matter how many times you do it. If, it, if it's a woman to a man, it's not going to be that important. Yeah, it's not. I mean, even look at Terry Crews, for example. He got harassed two years ago by a producer. <clears throat> the guy grabbed his penis and didn't want to let go. And Terry Crews didn't want to get by. One second, I don't want to interrupt you. <laughs> Who the hell had the balls to grab Terry <laughs> Crews' penis and not let go? Listen, listen. So, Jesus, have you seen that man? <laughs> That, that's that's where I'm getting to. Just looking at him. That's scary. where I'm getting to. He was saying when he he took it to court and he said that the producer of Expandables told him kill this now or you won't be in the next movie. And the judge, one of the the people there that was hearing the case, dared to ask him, why didn't you use force? Look how strong you are. It has nothing to do with how strong he is. He could be 600 pounds of muscle. He that he told her. You don't see what I am. I'm a black man in America. If I use a little bit of force, it's going to be expanded way, way, way beyond than it was. No, He's no, going to no. get jail time for something. He, exactly. No, he didn't no, initiate. No, 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 black man, but also celebrity. So they're going to go after yeah. his money. They're going to go after his career in yeah. general. And speaking of black men in America getting accused of harassment and, and getting accused of things, we didn't even mention who we were talking about initially, who's Neil deGrasse Tyson, an astrophysicist, the host of Star Talk Radio. I believe he's the director of the Natural Museum of History in New York, if I'm not mistaken. It might be a different museum, I'm not sure. I don't really go to museums. But I am a big fan of this guy. Him, alongside with other guys like Bill, Bill Nye, the science guy, and other people, they have taken science education to another level to the point that they're ha they have made science fun. They have made it so that everyone learns about science. Science is something very important because a lot of people will say that ignorance is bliss, but it's a complete opposite. The reason why we have so much suffering in the world is because we have a lot of ignorance in the world. And there's a lot of things that we don't know that we fear because people fear what they don't understand and they hate what they can't conquer. That's a, 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 a wonderful man said that, a wonderful African-American man said that too. 
in one of his songs. His name is Nas. <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson is such an influential person in the field of science and he's such a, 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 a great mind and an educational person. To have a person come out and accuse him of something he did back in college, it just makes me mad. It makes me mad because the problem is not that he did something wrong and that he should pay for what he did wrong. I get that. If he did something wrong to you, it's fair that you come out to the police and you tell them, this man harassed me, this man did this, you should punish him. I understand that. If he actually did the crime, he should be punished for his crime. But not however many years it's been since he was in college. Like if he did that back in college, why are you coming out now saying that he did this? Like Sergio said, people are waiting for other people to get famous and to have something going on so that someone comes out and said, oh, this person did something to me. Oh, this person posted a tweet that's homophobic or racist or this. Like, why are you waiting until that person is successful to try and ruin their lives? Yeah, and like, obviously we are all fans of, of Neil, but, and, but, but we don't really know him. Just like Bill Cosby, everyone was a huge fan of Bill Cosby. And yeah, look, they didn't know and, and, person. Yeah, everyone yeah, thought he was like the best man ever, here, and look. Here's, so, a, here's the thing, like... I'm not, not, I'm not saying he didn't, he didn't, didn't actually do the crime that he's being accused of, but it's like what, it's what you're saying right now. It was like how many years ago? So if you didn't do it back then, I'm not saying like like. And and the thing that gets me the most is that the lady that's accusing him, him and her were dating, and he said they had one encounter, one sexual encounter together, many moons ago. Yeah. He's like he he's he's being honest. He's like, listen, you guys can investigate. I have nothing to hide. You understand? I know I didn't do nothing wrong. You guys can investigate, but still. With the power of the media, this guy is like a top yeah. tier rapist already. Yeah, you know like you know it, once you when they call you a, a a rapist or they call you something in the media, it never goes away. You always have that tag because everybody's looking at the it, when they call you a rapist, it's gonna be on the breaking news on the front page of the newspaper. But when they find out that you didn't do it, that's never on the front page. They're never gonna say, "Oh, he didn't do it" in the front page of the the New York Times or whatever. All you hear is that he harassed somebody. And that's what stays in the people's mind. For example, if you're a baseball player and they accuse you of using steroids, and then you go and prove that you didn't use steroids, people are still gonna say that you use steroids no matter what. But in the case of, of Neil deGrasse Tyson, you're taking away someone that's good for the community because he's actually like giving the community education and knowledge and science is something that's really important for our daily lives and, and something that we all need to learn because if it's bill cosby all bill cosby was doing was a tv show tv okay entertainment is important but it, it you're not gonna die if you don't have comedy for one day and there were actually many different cases for bill cosby and yeah, he actually, and he was, it he was actually ongoing. Admitted. Yeah, it was ongoing. He admitted, and it was exactly. an ongoing thing. It wasn't something that happened 20 years ago and he stopped. It was an ongoing thing. Yeah, I mean, so he like, was guilty too. So like, but, we, we don't want to put everyone in a, in a bubble, but a lot of things happen to a lot of women and they're horrible. But a case like this just makes it seem like some some women are just like there for like the a money. Lot, a lot the, uh, the uh, the, this, they saying there's five women now, and one of them used to work for him. She was uh, she was an assistant. And all she said, he invited me to a private wine and cheese party in his room. How is that harassment? If he invited you to a wine and cheese party in, your, in his room, and you said yes, and you went, how is that harassment? You're not giving any other even, information. It, it's a party. Was it only you and, and him? And listen, or? and listen. Do you even know? And listen, okay, let's, let's be the devil's advocate. And let's say he invited you to his house to have some wine and cheese. And while you guys were having wine and cheese, he tried to seduce you. He tried to put his hand around it. He tried to kiss you or something. And you didn't want any of it. Just because you didn't want any of it, that is not necessarily harassment. That's just called trying to seduce a woman and being rejected. It happens all the time with people that are not famous, that are broke and don't have any money that you can't just go to the police and say, oh, he tried to kiss me and I don't like him, so like, arrest him because he's harassing me. Are we really going to do this right now? He he just signed a contract with Fox to renew his Cosmo show next month. And he's releasing a book, I believe, Blah! in March. Out of nowhere. Yeah. Out of nowhere. A person that, that's actually beneficial to this world 
you're gonna try to get their job and their career jeopardized because of something that he did 20 years ago that you probably lived all this time without any problems. problems. This It doesn't matter the standing of the person. It could be freaking Jesus Christ. It could be Gandhi. It could be anybody. That's those that give them the right to commit, to commit sexual harassment. Yeah, we're not but, trying to excuse nobody. But if you need, like, concrete proof, don't just go by word of mouth. Exactly. Right yeah. now, I can say, this guy stole $100 from me. Where's my proof? I'm telling you. That's the proof. All you're trying to do is get attention to yourself. All you're trying to do is get money or get some sort of like monetary or, or something. You're just trying to ruin somebody's life. And even after getting accused, he's still like such a gentleman. Like he cooperates with everything. Hey, exactly. you want to investigate? Go ahead. Go ahead. Because it's a smart person, person that knows that didn't do anything would say that. There's, there's a lot of people that you can notice that they were guilty. For example, Kevin Spacey. This kid accused him of rape or sexual harassment. What was his reaction? Oh, I'm a gay man. What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So a boy be, accused you of... of being sexually harassed by you when he was 14. And your answer is, oh, yes, I've been living as a gay man. You're guilty, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're guilty, bro. You understand? He's definitely guilty. Weinstein? Guilty. That guy is guilty. That guy's a scum. He was For all he up did in of the front of people. And, and then you got Neil deGrasse Tyson. Listen, I invite you guys to investigate. Do an open investigation. No matter whatever they find, his reputation is already tainted. Yeah. Watch. TV shows, the one are not going to want nothing to do with him. It's gonna be over. That the same thing happened to this kid from um, from that '70s show. He had a show with uh, with Ashton Kutcher and Netflix, The Ranch, I think it's called. Tough yeah. Race. Yeah. Uh, two. One woman accused him of sexual harassment. Netflix dropped him. Dropped his contract with no investigation, nothing. He demanded an investigation. What happened? It wasn't true. But where is he now? Nobody wants to deal with him. Reputation is tainted. Crazy, man. When things around revolved around you like that, it's over. That's it. Career done. Finito. It's a shame, and and hopefully, like we're not trying to defend Neil deGrasse Tyson. We're just trying to, like, give our point in how women and people in general, because it's not only women, but let's just say people in general are weaponizing this Me Too movement. They're pretty much saying things just to get money and just to get attention to themselves and to ruin other people's careers without it being true. But if it is true, then that would really suck because Neil deGrasse Tyson is a person that we need in our community, a person that we need in the world. We need more people like him, like Elon Musk, and like guys like that are always trying to make our world better and more advanced because education is what makes us what we are right now. We gotta thank somebody smart like those people for the actual fact that we're in front of a camera right now, that we're making a video and that we can actually express our opinions to you guys. So let us know what you guys think in the comments. What are your opinions about this topic? If you guys like this video, thumbs up, or you don't even need to do that. Just let us know what you think about the topic. Subscribe for more and see you in the next one. Bye guys.